Grand Gaizen beat Jujutsu Infinite when the game officially comes out and we're going to be determining that in this video right now. As y'all know, y'all heard some news about a new JJ game that officially been announced to be coming out in December 2023. But the thing is, it's not really new. Grand Kaizen was one of those games that was one of those games that got hyped and basically it just never came out and that tons of copies got released right after that, meaning the game got leaked and people, you know, stole the assets of that game and made their own type of game. But as you can see right here, we're actually going to be watching this trailer and we're going to be giving our opinions about it. And we're going to be giving our opinions about will it like surpass Jujutsu Infinite. And honestly, no bias, no anything. We're just going to be going straight into it. But before that, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, let's get it. All right, let me make sure everything is in HD. We got everything prepared. We're just going to keep it like that because then again, I don't know if there's any copyrighted things like that. Don't want no copyright infringement because, yeah, good. So, so far, the map doesn't even look that bad. Okay, that's pretty raw. Now, the thing is, the only problem I have with that is like, I feel like they could have made this a little bit visually more pleasing. Don't get me wrong, it looks good. But I feel like in a way they could have actually like, I don't know, in my opinion, it could have been better, could have looked better. A little grab move with a cut scene, that's pretty raw, okay. I won't lie though, the visuals, the VFX and grab move cutscenes and all of that is not that bad. And I'm pretty sure that's the end right here. Yeah, then it's going to pop up December 2023. Now the thing is, it I'm not going to lie, it reminds me of Project Slayer's GPO and things like that. It reminds me of a project game where they will put Project This, Project Mugez, whatever it could be. It reminds me of like a project jjk game and i'm not gonna lie nothing is wrong with that like everything from this trailer was you know decent and for content wise it, it will probably be fun to make content on this game too but like the overall gameplay and things like that i i actually really hope it could be real good like the grind isn't a pain and things like that but like from the trailer, it doesn't even look that bad. I feel like it could be a fun little game to play while other games are also coming out. And the game isn't visually not pleasing. It Don't get me wrong, it's visually pleasing, but enough of that. Now it's time for the juicy discussion. Will Grand Kaizen be better or even top Jujutsu Infinite? Now a lot of people will honestly agree with me or even put out a proportion that Jujutsu Infinite is going to knock out Grand Kaizen automatically when they release. Now, if I'm being honest, Jujutsu Infinite has a lot of things that like there is to mention, like the combat system. The combat system is very unique and it's really intriguing. It's not a combat system that we've seen in every anime game on Roblox. Like they changed it to where it's really addicting to play for even for PvP and sometimes farming enemies or trying to level up like that. The combat system in the game is really fun. And honestly, it really pulls me in too. So I can see how the combat really pulled in an audience too. And the VFX, the UI, the, everything in the game honestly looks eye pleasing, eye candy, the modeling, the domains, like everything in the game fits so well with uh, JJK. So honestly, I won't even be surprised if a lot of people even agree with me saying, yes, Jujutsu Infinite is going to be surpassing Grand Kaizen by a long run. Now, there is some things to mention about Grand Kaizen. Grand Kaizen could be one of those games that has a lot of people playing when it releases and maybe dying out, but we don't know about that yet. Because, you know, as in for any project game, they tend to not update whatsoever. And Grand Kaizen kind of had those aspects. Not updating wise, but the modeling and everything, how it looks wise. Honestly, like I said, Grand Kaizen to me looks like GPO, Project Slayers, Project Mugets. And that's just me. That's my opinion, though. And But if I'm being honest, the visuals and stuff like that, some of their animations don't look half bad. And I feel like it will be a pleasing game. 
I feel like it will be a pleasing game to also make content on while the time being for other games to come out. So who knows, maybe this could be a good game for people to play on the side while they're bored. And plus it is coming out this month. So honestly, that really do just brings out a game for people to play in December in 2023. So it is pretty smart for them to actually release the game finally. And uh, especially this early in 2023, December, hey, people got a game to play, but as for it to be top of any JJ game, game that comes out, uh, not, I don't know, but we just gonna have to find out as the game releases. And uh, do I really think it will top Jujutsu Infinite? Not really, but as we just need to see as time goes on, the thing about Jujutsu Infinite is they have a lot of things in there that really makes the game stand out to any other JJK game. They really missed it well, and they actually made it their own type of game. Like I said, they didn't make it like a reused project, whatever. They really did use different things combat wise and stuff like that. The combat in like Grand Kaizen, like I said, kind of reminds me of any project game or GPO things like that but honestly it could be a good game for content things like that and it could just be a game for people to generally enjoy because you know as you know uh jjk is ramping up and honestly i love me some jjk i know y'all love you some jjk but it's a game that is coming out so let me know your opinions in the comments and yeah do you really think grand kaizen going to be maybe one of the biggest games on roblox for right now before jujutsu infinite or what do you think leave your comments below if you enjoyed the video make sure you leave a like subscribe if you want or leave a dislike if you don't really like the video anyways i'll see you on the next one peace